Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm coming to you with a different video. This is not a book review per se, uh, but rather a comparison video between book club editions of books and retail editions of books. Now some will say first edition versions of books. Uh, I don't pre prefer that terminology because you know you may not be comparing a first edition against a BCE. It could be a later reprint. Uh, but the point stands true. You know, the full retail version versus the book club edition. That's what we're here to talk about. And this has been kind of the bane of my book collecting existence so far. Ever since I started reading again for the first time since I was a kid. Uh, reading as a hobby, I mean. Um, I didn't really know book club editions were a thing. And so I would order books from places like Goodwill and Thrift Books and um, Declutter and all these different you know, stores on eBay that just list books with stock images, and I would only order books that were in good condition or very good condition or higher, uh, hoping that I would get books of sufficient quality for my collection. And while I always did, with maybe one or two exceptions, the thing I quickly learned is that they don't necessarily guarantee you one or the other version of the book. And I'm not going to act like book club editions are horrible and worthless. They're not. They absolutely have merit, and you may even end up preferring them over retail versions of books. And that's kind of what this is a video is about, to talk about the differences, the pros and cons to each one. But if you're like me, and you like having a consistent shelf appeal, you know, all the books in the series lining up well, all the same size, all the same format, the random book club edition coming in the mail could very well mess up your day. So, I'm going to be showing you the differences between multiple book club editions and retail editions, and giving you the general tips on how you can spot them. Now, I want to say quickly that if you're ordering with stock images online, there is absolutely no way to guarantee you get the edition that you want. You can check to see if your seller has listed the, the uh, dimensions in the description, but that oftentimes did me no good. They would still send me the book club edition, which is smaller, rather than... Uh, the full size edition, anyways, because it's just information they reuse. You know, they got, they may have two dozen of a book in stock, and some are book club editions and some are retail editions, and the store either doesn't know the difference or doesn't care about the difference, so you can't rely on that. If you have stock photos, there's nothing you can do to guarantee you're not getting a book club edition, and that's because even the ISBN is the same. So I bring up this book club edition here, you can see the ISBN. Then I'll bring up the retail edition here. And you'll see those ISBNs are identical, which is something that greatly frustrates me because, in my opinion, they shouldn't be allowed to have the same ISBN number. Um, but they do, and they always will, uh, or almost always will, so you cannot rely on just searching the ISBN. What you can do is stick to listings online that only have photographs taken by the seller. And because if you do that, you're able to more easily distinguish some things. So on this particular example, you can see this retail edition has raised lettering and it's actually kind of a metallic gold to everything. It has a metallic sheen to it. Whereas on the book club edition, it's not raised and it's all flat. And you can probably tell that even just by looking at the two books side by side here. Okay, look at the spines. Again, you can see the difference in color. And then the most important difference is on the back. So, every single book club edition, every single one, is going to have a series of numbers just like this. They may be in a little white box, they most often are, but they're not always. Sometimes they'll just be against the black, you know, whatever background you have. But if you have a series of numbers like this, you 100% of the time have a book club edition of a book. So look for that when looking at photos online all the time. Another thing you can look for is the inside of the dust jacket. So I'm going to try to bring these up side by side. It's a little difficult working around the camera here, but hopefully I can uh, make this apparent. Okay. So inside the dust jacket, you can see the retailer ver uh, version up top. Again, we have an, uh, I believe that's the ISBN 13. And then we have the price of the book, which you can see is $27.95. In the book club edition, we have no such markings. And then if we go to the back cover, 
we may also find some differences there. Not always, but it's always worth looking. And indeed, you can see we have some different copyright information. Now, sometimes the book club editions will be kind enough to label themselves book club edition. Like, uh, I think, yeah, so here we have, on here you can see book club edition. But the majority of the time, they're not going to do so, in my experience. Uh, not with uh, more recent books, I'd say, from the 90s moving forward. So keep that in mind. It can be pretty frustrating. It's just really nothing you can do about it. Those, that's the easiest way to identify from photos. The next one, obviously, is size. I mean, you can see how much smaller this is. But that's kind of deceptive, because if you have nothing to compare it against online, then you can't possibly know. If I take this book away and just leave this book in front of you and take a picture of it, you have no way of knowing that's not the full-size edition of the book, okay? What you could do is ask the seller to take a measuring tape and measure the book out for you so you can see that you get the dimensions that you need. Will they take the time to actually take the photo for you? It depends on the seller. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But that's one surefire way to make sure you get the version you need. Uh, another way would be, or not surefire, surefire if they respond. Uh, another thing you could do is ask them just to send you a picture of the book next to another hardcover edition of a book and pray they're sending you a picture next to a retail book and not another book club edition book. And this is why it can be very frustrating because it is so easy to end up with a BCE or book club edition when you don't want one. Now, uh, they are not entirely without merit. Okay, so in this example we have here, I've got Soul of the Fire, and this this happens to be a first edition. This one actually is a first edition, and the quality of the paper is nice. You know, it has a semi-matte texture. It's nice and white. Um, no real gutter loss to speak of. Decent book. In this one, we open it up, and the paper quality is actually even nicer. It has a, it actually has a glossier feel to it. It's almost as white, not quite as white, but almost as white, but many people prefer the off-white, and it also doesn't have any gutter loss. So, in my opinion, slightly nicer paper is a, as a pro for this particular book club edition. It's not universal, guys. Most of the time, in my experience, book club editions have lower quality paper, but sometimes they have better paper. Uh, the real appeal to BCEs versus full-size hardcovers is readability because these are so much easier to hold and just have in your palm as you're reading and not worry about anything as compared to this, which can be a little cumbersome uh, for a lot of people, especially if you have smaller hands. So I'm going to put these aside and bring in a couple more side-by-side -side comparisons. So here we have... This is... The Cell Swords uh, Trilogy Book 2, Promise of the Witch King. Uh, I got this in a book lot when I ordered a... Uh, I basically ordered one book the seller had in the lot. And I only paid $11 for the lot, so I didn't mind, you know, getting these additional books that I could just sell later. Uh, but here we can see, again, the difference in size between the two books. Yet again, you can see that series of numbers. And these up to see if there's any information on the dust jacket. Yeah, you, yet again, you can see the difference with the price listed on the, um, the inside of the retail edition. But now we can see a few more differences. So on the book club edition here, we are, uh, end paper is just stock white, nothing special. Here we have it's kind of marbled paper, papering. And this is one of those things you typically get with retail editions versus book club editions. You get nicer quality touches. So... Uh, another example, another difference between the two here. If we look at the end of this, the edges of this book, they're just pretty standard, you know, flat edges. On the retail edition, we get deckled edges, kind of meant to look like that old timey, you know, that old book look, that old spell tone look, which really suits a fantasy series like this. If you see deckled edges on a book, guys, it's not a defect; it's a feature. It's there on purpose. If I take these dust jackets off. Or some more side-by-side -side comparison, you'll see even more quality features coming through on the retail version. So the board here, very plain black, nothing to speak of. There's your spine. The spine itself is flat. We have our metallic lettering. Again, blank board, uh, board back. Here we have, again, kind of a marbled blue board. The spine is rounded, and we have all of the same lettering, though in different placements. 
can see. And again, the back of the book board is kind of that blue marbled look. So, just another uh, you know, kind of difference between a book club edition of a book and a retail edition of a book. Not necessarily better, not necessarily worse, but in my opinion, the retail version does have some quality improvements that I personally prefer. However, if you prefer the book club edition of the book, I don't think anyone can really fault you for that. Next up, this one will be interesting because here we have a book club edition of a book that did not have a retail printing at the time. Okay, when this came out, this was a book club edition book in the 90s, uh, the early 90s, I believe. And then we have a retail version, which came out much later, and they have different cover arts. Now, they tell you the same story, they have all the same information, but they are different versions of the book, and this is a, another thing to consider. Uh, if you're trying to save money in this particular case, this printing is much cheaper than this printing, as it's much easier to identify. And also, because they are truly different printings, they do actually have truly different ISBN information. That's again, because this never had a retail version. Not that I've ever been able to find, and I've looked all over the internet, I've only ever seen these book club editions. And that isn't uncommon. You know, another book that I have here is this Dragon Riders of Pern omnibus in hardcover. This is a book club edition that had no retail edition in hardcover form. So, you know, this is kind of a thing you can expect. Especially with some of these early fantasy books, because fantasy books were a big deal in, uh, in the 90s. People were really getting into them. And... It still wasn't considered a genre that was important enough, quote-unquote, to a lot of publishers to justify hardcover printings. So these book club editions were your only way to get hardcover printings for a lot of them. Uh, this comparison is interesting because, at least to me, because it kind of shows... Um, how do I word this? It's an interesting comparison because you may find yourself leaning one direction or the other for reasons other than the quality of the book or the price of the book. You may just prefer the way this cover looks. And this is a gorgeous cover art. Absolutely gorgeous cover art. You know, with Dritz de Worden and Guinevere, and I'm fairly certain that's Caterbury. Beautiful cover. Beautiful spine. Pretty basic back, but again, we see our typical book, market or book club edition labeling. And then here... This one is larger and matches in line with the other collector's edition omnibuses. But is it as pretty as the book club edition? In my opinion, no. Uh, I actually think this is a much better looking cover than this. This is good. Uh, this is art, in my opinion. So again, this kind of brings up another reason why it's important to know about these book club editions, because maybe you'll find something that you didn't otherwise know about. And then finally, I'll just bring in that book again. Um, this is a good representation of the typical lower quality you'll get. Let me move these out of the way. Um, because the book club editions I've been showing you up to this point are, have actually all been very nice, high quality versions of the books that I would put against the first editions readily, or the retail editions readily. Here, in this particular instance, we have many more issues. Okay, for, for one, the paper quality, much lower just is. Much lower quality paper. For two, the gutter loss is real with this. So if I bring this up, you can see how many of those words start to sink into that crevice. So you have to really push it flat to read it, which can do damage to an already very fragile spine. Okay? You could damage your binding quite easily, forcing your book that wide. So that's another con. Uh, the next con is the flimsy quality of it all. This feels like a cardboard box. It really does just feel like a cardboard box. And the dust jacket, also extremely, extremely thin. And as a result, these are almost always torn. And mine is no exception. There's a tear in the jacket there. But we can still see, yep, that's a book club edition. So I hope this video was helpful and useful to you all. I've been rambling for nearly 15 minutes now. Uh, that's the pros and cons, book club edition versus retail edition, how to spot them and why you might prefer one versus the other. I hope you got some useful information out of this video, and you know, hopefully it helps you do better collect the series you want to collect without having to rebuy books like I did. See you next time. Peace, and take care.